live at five. New research shows some infected people spread COVID-19 far more than others. And those people are called super spreaders. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with a look at why those people are so dangerous. How does this work, Max? Well, you know, Kelly and Bob, there, there are some diseases like the flu that spread around pretty evenly. This person infects this person, infects this person. But researchers from around the world are noticing COVID-19 appears to cluster. The best way to show you exactly what that means is to tell you a story. A true story, every fact taken from this report that looks really boring, but it's not, stay with me. This story takes place in Washington State in a church choir in a town called Mount Vernon. The only fiction here is the identity of the first patient. We don't know who it is, so we're going to say it's a man, a man named Sam, Sam the Super Spreader. Sam's calendar in March was booked each Tuesday night with church choir practice. On March 3rd, Sam may have been infected, but he felt good enough for choir practice. On March 7th, he got cold-like symptoms, but still on the 10th, he went to choir. So one patient, the CDC thinks it's possible he was infected by March 3rd because it was March 11th that three choir members came down with COVID-19. By the 12th, there were seven more, 11 total. By the 13th, 19 more. 30 people from choir practice were sick. 16 more on the 14th, 46 total. Four more on the 15th, 50 in all. And two days later, another two. COVID-19 had swept through the choir. There would actually be one more case on the 22nd. Here's the CDC's chart showing 87%. 53 out of the 61 people at choir practice sick with COVID-19. But only Sam Super Spreader had symptoms before choir practice. And sadly, this is a true story. Each of these boxes is a real person and two of them died. Well, there's one researcher in the UK who estimated 80% of cases of COVID-19 tend to come from 10% of the infected people. Infections are more likely to happen indoors. They're more likely in larger groups that are close together. If you stop a cluster, then you save a lot of people. That's the good thing. But the challenge is convincing people to be careful before one of those clusters appears, before an outbreak. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.